So, what's going on? And, uh, this is going to be a stupid one-off video about, uh, Jaws for the NES. Um, let me just state clearly and for the record, this is not a this is how to beat, because I will not be beating this. I will probably not be beating this. I've never beaten this game. It's a short game, but it's, uh, let's just say not the easiest. It's actually, like, it's actually not hard for an NES game, and I will, uh, you know, for an LJN game, I will say, like, it's not, like, the worst game in the world. Not even, like, the worst game LJN made. The biggest problem with this game is that it's flat-out boring. And I'm going to try to see if I can make 20 minutes of a video out of this. And if this works well, I will definitely do a, uh... I'll definitely do more of these types of videos, these one-offs. But, um... Yeah, uh, this plot is basically based off Jaws the Revenge, this game, because that's that was the newest movie at the time, despite the fact that that movie has a rare 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> like, um, that's aside the point, but, um, the plot is that you're a guy in the boat and you have to kill Jaws, so we're going to get this started. You have three lives, however, I will say right off the bat, there's no continues in this game, and dying in this game is very punishing, so I will basically, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, this is like RPG elements. Basically, what you do is that, uh, you basically, uh, you basically control, like, a uh, guy, and basically, like, uh, you basically kill jellyfish and stingrays, because that's all they could think about about marine life other than Jaws. But, like, uh, you basically collect shells until, like, the game decides to put you up back up the surface, but, um... As you can see, there's the Jaws health bar. You can actually encounter the shark very early in the game, but the problem is you need to increase your power. Because you will not, for the life of you, kill Jaws at power one. One hit and basically you're dead, no matter what basically hits you. Sounds like fun, huh? This is basically the entire game, and... Dying in this game is also very punishing, because if you actually die, you lose half your shells, your power down one level, and Jaws' energy is all the way back. So yeah, you might as well hit reset whenever you lose a life. This will, this, this will basically go on till either um, I beat this game, which is probably not likely, or I get a game over because there's no continues in this game. This is also a test, see if I can sw if I can do like live commentary and all that, because like, so videos can be easier to edit later on. You can also get shells during a bonus round, which also happens at like pure random. I'm already bored out of my fucking mind. Alright, get at least five shells early on because you want to get the uh, receiver so you can track down the shark. And also if you die, you lose the receiver so you have to get that again. Alright, so occasionally you'll see a baby shark like that. And we get the bonus scene! We're basically on an airplane, basically just like in Jaws of the Revenge, and we're basically dropping bombs on jellyfish. Don't ask me because I did not design this game. Yes, yeah, so like the bit for an LGN game, it's not like the worst game. I'd say like Bill and Ted's excellent video game adventure is way worse than this, and Back to the Future NES is way worse than this. But like, I don't know, LGN doesn't have like the LGN does not have a good rap, but did not have a good rap mainly because of the AVGN. But like, um, I actually think that some LGN games are not as bad as pe some people give them credit for. It's just this game is just mostly boring. We got four shells out of that. And we want to reach the other duck. Hopefully we don't get hit by something. And yeah, we now we you, we can now track down draws with the receiver. Yay! Anyway, so uh. One tip I have about this game is I would avoid shallow water at all costs because there's less room to fight these uh, jellyfish and stingrays, thus it's easier to get killed. I would also maybe try to avoid the ocean floor. 
I thought I was gone. I thought I was dead right there. Maybe unless there's a shell, you you can bring them there. Basically, shells are this game's currency. The NES as well is that basically if you're see if you're seeing lackluster video quality, that's because the NES only goes up to composite. And that's like the one console I own I don't have RGB support for. And like uh sorry if this is mono video also because the NES doesn't do stereo either or surround sound or any of that. I would like to get my NES modded to do all that stuff, but uh let's just say I can't really afford it right now. Anyway, we've hit Jaws. We're nowhere near the, uh, level to fight Jaws, but, uh... The interesting thing is if you're- if you're right at the surface, you- Jaws can't hit you, but you can't hit him. We're already draining some of his life, but the problem is every time, um, you go- Every time the game decides, like, you're just at the surface, Jaws' energy, like, restores, like, Pretty much the only way to beat him is to power up to a certain level so you can basically inflict more damage. And if we actually manage to die, we'll be at level one. We'll be back at level one. And I thought I was dead right there. Yeah, we will. So we will probably not be beating this. Look at how slowly his light meters are going on. I'm pretty sure this amount of spears could kill a real great white shark. Can we get the bonus game? I, I think the smaller shark usually gets you the bonus game. Alright, so, uh, yeah, he... Maybe it didn't fill up all the way, but, uh, yeah, now we're at, uh, level three. This is all you do the whole game, is collect shells and raise your power, so you can fight Jaws. I actually am a really big fan of, like, the first movie, like, uh, to the point where I've, like, I've seen it, I've seen it, like, pretty much a, over, like, a thousand times. I've even read the inferior novel, which I do not recommend. It's the general, it's just like general consensus, just watch the movie. Alright, get the shell. These are, these are a lot of fucking stingrays. We're literally- we're basically obliterating that species. Not that that's a good thing. We get a bonus game. I want more shells. You know, this is the mark of like a good game and like the the goal is, when the goal of playing this is you want it done as quickly as possible. Like this game isn't even like relaxing or anything. It's just like fucking boring. Like there's like nothing else I can add to this. I I'm either wait I'm waiting for basically either a game over or um basically uh I'm either waiting for a game over or I'm waiting for the game to end, whichever comes first. Hey, if this game is based on a movie that has a rare, a particular Jaws movie that has a rare zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, this game isn't very, isn't going to be very good. I don't ever watch Jaws: The Revenge, by the way. It's so fucking dumb. And wow, that didn't take long. <laughs> I think when you reach a later level, also, the jellyfish will move in different directions. I'm 
No, I thought we were dead. I thought we were. We have we've had a lot of close calls because contr controlling like is very slippery and all that. Also, I think the more shells it takes, the more you level up, the more shells it takes. I thought I was dead. We we keep having close calls with the it's always with jellyfish, never with stingrays. Two it's the same it's always the same two enemies also. You also half your shell if you die, so uh yeah, dying is pretty much if you die in this game, you pretty much should just hit reset. Come on, put me back at the surface. I don't want to fight these things. I don't want to get into battles either. Remember, that's the only reason you die. Like, it's not like these underwater things are hard. It's just like you die because you get bored as hell. And it's probably why I've never beaten this game. I made it to the part where you uh, basically hit, try to stab Joss with the tip of the boat, but I've just never gotten past it. We don't want to die when we have 18 shells. This is, a, I think, one of my better runs. Starfish and crabs are literally just for points, so, like, don't even grab them. Just grab the shells, grab nothing else. Can I knock into another... another... Okay, good. I think, uh, power 5 should be enough to kill Jaws. Get, a, get another shell. I think it's much easier to get shells during the bonus game than it is during the water segments. Now I think I want to rest that shell at this point. I would just avoid the ocean floor at all costs in this game. We get a bonus game, please. I want to get more shells easier. Alright, good. See, so yeah, it seems like they appear complete random. I might actually turn on the actual movie after I'm done with this recording, I just need some kind of entertainment. Not Jaws of Revenge, like the good, the only, the, the only really th thing Jaws really, j that's worthy is like the first movie and that's it. Tell me we have enough shells. Can we get to the other dock? Alright, good thing we didn't die because we, we used a cheat to our advantage. Unfortunately, I don't like the conditions in which we, can, we encounter Jaws. That trick doesn't work with the uh, baby shark. Well, that's our first death. I think we have to go get the receiver all over again. Yeah, dying in this game is pretty much just like hitting reset. You might as well hit reset if you lose a life. Because look at that. 
We're down at eight shells, and we we're, our power's at three. So yeah, we will not be beating this. Look, there's Jaws. Can we, um... Yeah, look at how slowly his meter's going down. Yeah, his meter's... Can we see something? I want to level up, damn it. Can we stop <laughs> It was only a matter of time before we were going to suffer an actual death. I think I'd rather actually watch. I think I'd rather. I'd rather watch all the shark. I'd rather watch Sharknado than want than play this. Uh, again, I don't like the conditions in which we encountered all these in. You want to use shallow water at all costs. At least we got two shells. Encountering a lot of baby sharks. Oh, we twenty four shells. We don't want to die right here. Another reason I've never beaten this game before is just I usually just hit reset right after I lose the first life. Seven shells. Can we get to the other docks? I don't want to go into these things, and I'm probably gonna die right here. Yeah, these jellyfish. They the jellyfish are eventually just start moving back and forth. I almost want to say I'd rather get stung by a real jellyfish and play this game, but I've heard jellyfish things are like really painful. So like, I, so I just. I'm pretty much coming up with excuses like, yeah. And we have to go get the receiver all the way. Look at that. You know, I'm just gonna die on purpose. Come on, jellyfish, sting me. Yeah. So that was Jaws the NES. We did not beat this game as I predicted, and uh, I will see you guys later.